Welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Crew Mode. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. Over the last couple of races, things have been going very, very well for us, and we've got to keep the pressure on, and that starts with our off-track stuff. We've got two days before the Spanish Grand Prix, and you know what? Let's spend those two days doing a sponsor event. It brings us more team acclaim, which is super important. We have been putting so much effort into our team acclaim because that's how we level up and stuff, and eventually we will get our fourth sponsor. Speaking of sponsors, actually, we will come back to that in a moment. We need to thank the sponsor of today's video, though, and this one is a little bit different. Today, we've actually teamed up with the awesome people behind Safety Say What. Their goal is to get you guys informed about your rights in the workplace and how to stand up for them. Whether you're working, for example, in a garage around cars, in a retail job, or in a cafe or restaurant, your safety and well-being is very very, very important. Say, for example, you are working in a garage and you're given the task of changing the oil in a car. It might seem like a pretty simple task, but if it's not done correctly and safely, it can be super dangerous. You're allowed to stand up for your rights and ask questions, especially when it comes to your safety, and that is exactly what Safety Say What is doing today. So click the link in my description, learn more now. Thank you so much to Safety Say What for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Anyways, after our sponsor stuff, we move over to our facilities where we again have over 10 million bucks. Our sponsors are paying us so much money and there's actually still a lot of time before we have to go and negotiate our contract with our second driver. So I'm thinking, why don't we pour some more money into here? I don't think I really need the powertrain stuff right now. And unfortunately, our, both our aerodynamic and our chassis stuff, if we were to upgrade anything in here, it's minimum 12 million bucks. So we will wait on that. Maybe if we advance some time, we'll get some money from our sponsors. I don't know right now though. We will come back to our facility stuff in a second. Let's move it over to our R&D tree and we have so many R&D points. It is kind of insane. I wanna start this off by going in to our power unit, upgrading our engine power that nearly puts us on the same level as those Mercedes guys, which is super cool. And then you know what? We're gonna come to our aero stuff. We've got minor front and rear downforce upgrades that we're gonna be able to do. And as we've got some heavy downforce circuits coming up, that I think is gonna be a very welcomed addition. I think though, with all of that stuff done, we can advance some time. Okay. We unfortunately we don't get any money from our sponsors. We don't get any more R&D points, so you know what? Do I want to do anything over here? I, I, I think we'll wait for the end of this Grand Prix. We'll have significantly more money and we can pour that into something else. For now though, I'm going to go and do all the practice programs. I will rejoin with you guys on the circuit for qualifying. Why does this always happen to me in this game? What is going on with this car? Well, it's good to finally be on the track for qualifying. I will be honest, I have no idea how much time is left, so we're gonna need to be pretty quick about this, but welcome to Spain. Again, today is gonna be one of those Grand Prix where I've got huge expectations for this car. This car has never been faster than it is right now. Based off our previous races, maybe we could do something again here. Being on the podium would be sick, maybe. I will say though, over the past couple of races, we've actually had a little bit of difficulty getting some good qualifying positions. So hopefully today as well is this is gonna be something that we can clean up. Obviously I know this circuit super well, so I just, I need to string it together. Same thing goes for our teammate Mick Schumacher. He had an awesome race last time, awesome qualifying last time as well. If he could do that again today, that would be incredible. Anyways, open up the DRS out of the final corner and we go P5 behind our teammate, but it is so close. No goddamn way. Let's get some new tires on. Look at the time between us and P1. Max Verstappen is rapid right now in that Ferrari. We can definitely clean that lap up a little bit and maybe jump Mick Schumacher. Start in P4 for us, that would be great. No, this is not what I can have. I, do, I cannot do a qualifying lap 
with a goddamn Renault in front. Slow it down. Slow it down. I mean, actually, maybe he would have given me a tow down the big straight here. But anyways, let's do this one. No talking and nail it. Yo, it may not be the one second green that we're used to, but an improvement down here is still an improvement. Let's see where we go. P4. P4. So I think my teammate actually out qualified me there. I'm pretty sure, but that's not bad. No, we beat him. We took down Mick Schumacher by 0.01 seconds. That is cutting it close between the NCP boys. And look at Carlos Sainz. What? What is that man doing in the McLaren? Real quick though, before we get into the actual race, this is what I wanted to come in and do before. We've got 1,200 resource points. Now we, we finally got those to roll in because of our practice program. So before we jump into the race, we will get this upgrade going, which arrives, oh, just after the, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Try, try the rush development, why not? So let's see what we got today for the Spanish Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton is gonna be leading us away, followed up somehow by Carlos Sainz. We are starting up in P4 behind Max Verstappen. We've got our teammate behind us down in P5. Meanwhile, the other McLaren all the way down in P10. That is crazy. Danny Rick really struggling. Valtteri Bottas for the Mercedes boys. That's gonna be even less points for them. And then K-Mag picks up a 10 place penalty, which bumps up the Formula 2 drivers. So let's see what we've got for our race strategy. Oh, it's a two pit stop strategy. Stop on lap six for the mediums and then stop on lap 19 for some more mediums. Oh boy, okay. I think we definitely might be requesting a safety car. Anyways, clutch is in, rev it up. And away we go for the Spanish Grand Prix. Lots of smoke out of both of these guys. Brilliant start for me. No wheel spin whatsoever. Straight up the middle. I'm in a sandwich, I'm in a sandwich, I'm in a sandwich. Watch out, round the outside of Charles Leclerc. He's still there, still trying to stick his nose in. We box him out, we hold P2 behind Lewis Hamilton. Meanwhile, Mick Schumacher also overtaking Carlos Sainz. He's up in P4. What a start though for the NCP team. Currently, we are picking up the most points for the Constructors' Championship, which is exactly what we need right now. Mick Schumacher, it has taken a long time, but he's finally woken up. Anyways, for right now though, I need to catch up to Lewis. He's 1.9 seconds in front. He was very lucky with that start. He had a brilliant start, but I, I can't let him run away or else it's gonna be another easy win for the Merc boys. I need to run in rich revs. I need to be using my battery so when DRS does get enabled, we can keep up with that man. So let's let's put some good laps in right now, real early. Lewis goes and set a purple lap. I'm not too far behind him, but geez, 2.2 seconds of advantage already. And we're only on lap number three. That is not good news for us right now. If we do want to get a win. I mean, I'm saying that and we know that the Mercedes have a huge problem with reliability right now, so may maybe his engine will blow, who knows, but for right now, P2 is definitely not bad. He's 3.5 seconds in front now, which is really not good. I think we might be also running into reliability issues. They nothing looks that bad, but we're definitely slow. You know what though, for right now, I'm gonna put some laps into this car because Max Verstappen is pushing so hard right now as he looks up the inside thinks better of that one yeah I've, I've got to put some good corners in because i am bleeding time right now lewis is five seconds away let's go okay so we're up to lap number six in the grand prix now look at lewis hamilton this is ridiculous man is eight seconds in front you know sometimes when you feel good about the progress you've made and then and then it slaps you in the face that, that's what Mercedes is doing right now. Man is pulling away by over a second every single lap. Oh, yo, 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 Lewis went into the pits on lap number six. So Lewis was pushing so much harder than all of us and he absolutely destroyed his tires. So 
Lewis is already in. He's going to be on the medium compound tires, and he's going to be well into traffic now. Look at me. Meanwhile, I can stay out here for days. Oh, yo, some more guys in the back are going in. That's Max Verstappen and my teammate who are both jumping in on lap number seven. Am I the only person who is good on these tires? Like, I know I'm smooth around this circuit and I'm not really battling anybody, but my tires feel fine. You know what though? That front left is starting to look a little bit sketchy. So we're gonna jump in on this lap. I don't want the guys to get too big of an undercut on me as well. So into the pits we go. Do not bang the wall or anything. Ocon is also coming in, so we won't lose any track position to him. And let's see who goes past. A lot of the guys who are on the medium compound tires, they're going past. That's more or less what I expected. There goes Hamilton as he goes past well into the distance. And there goes Latifi. Come on, boys. Nice stop there. And back into the race we go. And we are kind of, kind of in front of Max Verstappen. It's not exactly what I would have wanted. We jump into traffic behind George Russell and the other Formula 2 guys. Come on, let's get past. Let's get past. Let's get past. Use some of that battery. Use some of that battery. That's what I'm talking about. That's sweet. So Max Verstappen currently is behind Kevin Magnussen. So he's obviously got a lot of traffic. Yeah, you can see. Check the minimap. How much these guys are getting held up right now. So that is fantastic news for us. I can go, go, go because I've got clear air. Meanwhile, all of these guys are so screwed. Here we go, though. Another back marker in the way. This one is Nicholas Latifi on lap number 13. And for some reason, he nearly refused to move out of the way for us. Max Verstappen, as you can already tell, has also made his way through the pack. He is 8.5 seconds behind us, so he's gonna close that in now that he's in clear air, but he will also catch up to Nicholas Latifi, who will hopefully continue to slow him down. Um, update, guys. It is currently about to be lap 20 in this Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton has just jumped into the pits for some brand new mediums, as has Max Verstappen, both of them, into the pits on lap number 20. I am leading the Spanish Grand Prix as I nearly spin the whole car. It is not a very big lead I have, though. I'm going to need to jump into the pits, and I'm going to be behind Lando Norris, Giovinazzi, who are on the hard compound tires, and I'm going to need to fight my way back through. I'm going to make these tires last a couple more laps. If we can get up to lap 23 in the Grand Prix on these mediums, I can jump on the softs and then we're sailing to the finish line. Well, 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 we are up to lap 23 in the Grand Prix already. So again, in we go to the pits. Do not smash the wall and get ready to slow it down. Lovely stuff. And we will jump on those soft compound tires. We got a little bit unlucky. No safety car or anything, it, it, it just is what it is. Anyways, a bunch of the other guys are flying past. Yo, I'm gonna be well down in the pack. I've gotta, I've gotta go here. Let's go, 2.8 second stop. That was a rough okay, one. And we are rejoining in P10? P10? I mean, we're on the softs, but like, P10? You know how last race we got super lucky with our pit stop strategy today? We got super unlucky with our pit stop strategy. We definitely need to upgrade our tire wear. Oh my. Here we go. One lap later. Now I get DRS. We get the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Ocon doesn't have DRS. Swing it to the outside, boys. Let's go. Do he hit us. He hit us. I kind of cut him off. That's my fault. I'm still going. We got places to be. That is what I need right now. Look at that for speed through the corners. These guys aren't even close to us. There we go. Open up that rear wing. We've got to reel them in. There's not long left in this Grand Prix. I don't have enough. Don't have enough to go past right now. I'm going to turn it down. Carlos Sainz is out of the Grand Prix. Safety car. No. Well, this is about to become a shootout for top spot in this Grand Prix. We all go past the safety car. I am the only person who's on the soft compound tires providing they don't die out on me, which 
But for right now, they're okay. I, I need to keep them like that, though. All right, lads. Safety car is going in on lap number 30. So we're going to have a little bit of time to try to get through some people. We've got our battery turned up. We've got our engine turned up. Jeff is still trying to make me come into the pits for some reason. I don't understand why, but we're gonna go. We're against the guys on the hard and the medium compound tires. I shouldn't, in theory, have any difficulty getting past, but let's see. I just can't allow that front left tire to give up on me. Yo, look how slow these guys are through these corners. Okay, we're gonna be good. We are going to be okay. Almost taking a look upside for stop in there. That's a risky play. We know how fast we are in a straight line. There we go. Max Verstappen got him covering off the inside. Yellow flags. Yellow flags. What was that? Yellow flags behind. Great maneuver. You made it I don't know easy. what just happened. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not again. Three races this season. Mick Schumacher is out of the Grand Prix. No way. Yo, Ma <laughs> Mick Schumacher just parked it up on the side of the circuit. Nicely done, bud. All right, anyways, two laps to go. We've still got places to make up. I'm up to P8. That is good, but not good enough. Remember those durability upgrades, though, that I've been laughing at for the past season and a half? Yeah, may maybe I should have gone for them, as it turns out. There's no more save the tires for this and that. There's no more save the fuel for this or that. We're zooming. I've, I've, I'm having tire issues. I can already tell you though. There we go. A little bit of DRS here. Just close in that tiny little bit. Can we drag race Sergio Perez out of the final corner or will he be going super slow right here? He is, he is. I don't have enough grip to go. I can't go up there. Where, where do you overtake? Please, come on, no! That's gonna do it, Lewis Hamilton is your race winner. Oh, we could have had that. Look, look, my AI's gonna overtake him. No! No goddamn way. Giovinazzi is on the podium. And Lando Norris. That is... <laughs> ridiculous. Anyways, so after that, we finish up in P8. We do get the fastest lap. It's our first fastest lap ever in Formula One, which is awesome. For the exact same reason we won the Chinese Grand Prix, all of these guys are pulling in some huge points today. What really sucks is it really affected our teammate. I mean, he got the DNF anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered, but it just, it sucks. Anyways, in terms of the standings, we drop down to P2. Lewis Hamilton has taken P1 in the driver's standings, and we're holding P3, but we definitely need to put in some work if we're gonna catch up to Ferrari. I mean, what really sucks from that Grand Prix is we miss out on one of our key sponsors, so we don't get the maximum amount of money we would usually get. We apparently had a little bit of damage during that Grand Prix, but 12 million bucks now, that'll be perfect to go and upgrade some of those facilities. With all of that being said though, next race is the Monaco Grand Prix. Should be a very, very good one, providing we get some of those upgrades coming in. Subscribe if you wanna see that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.